Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Before we get started, all praises to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. Greetings and salutations to the remnant, men, women, children, Shalom, right? It's your brother Shopper. Wanted to come back in, get a lesson. You know, um, it was a nice day outside today, 90, 90 something degrees. So I've been wanting to um, come sit down in the park and do a lesson, you know, um, through the spirit. I had a, a, a lesson was on me last night. You know, I have went into um, First Kings. Um, I went into First Kings chapter eight the other day, and so that had me looking at Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven last night as well, right? So I just wrote up some some um, some you know some precepts to go with some of the things I was thinking. So let's bring it out. Let's go to let's go to Ezekiel. Chapter 37 and 1. Ezekiel 37 and 1 reads, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. And these dry bones we're talking about, them is, um, them, them dry bones is Israel. Is, is is the nation of Israel. We lost everything. We 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 out here we, we don't have no no truth in us. We don't have the true names in us. We we forgot the fact that we were Israelites. We forgot all these things, right? Two, and caused me to pass pass by them round about and behold there there were very many in the open valley and low they were very dry see three and, and 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 he said unto me son of man can these bones live and I answered O O Lord power thou knowest again he said unto me prophesize upon these bones and say unto them O hear ye dry bones hear the word of the Lord right and see so that's what's happening now man you got the prophets, you got the apostles, you got the men, you got the brothers out here, and they prophesizing to these dry bones, to the nation, saying, yo, wake up, man. Wake up. We're Israelites. You know what I'm saying? We 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 was different. We we chosen, we're a special people. You know what I mean? So let's keep going. So um So yeah, five. Thus say the Lord power unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay suins, and, and I looked this looked this word up last night, um, Ezekiel 37 and 6. And I will lay suins, which is basically um strength, power, you know what I mean? Power um tendons, you know what I mean, um a coating of power, right? Basically. And I will lay suins upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord power. So I prophesied as he commanded. That's why we hit the hedges. That's why we come out here and do this work. And I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone, right? So let's get a couple of precepts to go with that right there, that thought. Let's go start with this one, Romans 10 and 2. It's the book of Romans chapter 10. Let's go to 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer for, for the Most High of Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. See? And like I said, man, we out here, we looking for all these other different things. We looking for, um, you know, we looking for it in Islam. We looking for it in Christianity. We looking for, for answers in all these things. But they not going, that's not where we going to find them at. We not going to find them in that. 
3. For they being ignorant of the most high righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of our power. See? That's what that's what's wrong, man. We done submitted to all kinds of other things and we devoted to them too, man. We devoted to these other ways, man. Let's go here. I read this scripture, I was like, wow. Let's go here, Deuteronomy 32 and 29. Let's get that one. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and 29. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. See? And this is the thing, man. We not considering this, man. We we not we not we not considering this at all. Let's let's go, let's do Deuteronomy 32 and 28. For they are a nation void of counsel. Neither is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise, that they should, they should, that they, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. See, so this is, this is what we, we coming out here and we trying to get people to do, man. Consider what's in the scriptures, man. Consider the fact that you're an Israelite. Consider the fact of the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. This is what we out here doing, man. We out here, we out here trying to get people to consider these things, man. Through the scriptures, man. Let's get one more. Acts 5 and 20. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 20. Go, stand, and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. See? So this is what we out here doing, man. We out here trying to speak these words of life to people, man. You know what I mean? Let's get, let's get back to it. Ezekiel, let's get back Ezekiel 37 and 10. Let's get there. This is the book of Ezekiel 37 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said unto, unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are, we are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesize and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into a land, into the land of Israel. Right? So, so, what, what, which one? Just, it just... The precept just popped in my head. How you doing, sir? All right. Precept just popped in my head. What was that precept? Okay. I got it. I got it. It's locking. Let me get that one. I didn't write this one down, but this one came in my head. Uh, that was said to them. I think it's in Revelations. Let's see if I could get it this way. Lock here. This is Romans chapter um, 9 and 26. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, 
ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living power. See? So so again, this is this is what's happening to us, man. We we we've been denied who we are. We've been denied. Everybody is telling us, even right now, you have Israelites out here that know we Israelites telling us we not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your pastors and, and, and you know some of these people that they running out here in front of you or whatever the case. They know, but they won't tell you, right? Let's get back to it. Right? And, and, and um, 12, Ezekiel 37 and 12. Therefore prophesize and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, O my people, I will open up your graves, open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into land of Israel right let's go down this Psalm 16 moreover thou son of man make thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel his companions northern kingdom southern kingdom then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph the stick of Ephraim and for all the house of Israel his companions and join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thy hand. See? So let's get let's go let's let's get over here. And so yeah, so you'll see them fakers over there in Israel right now. You know what I mean? You see the fakers over there. They um they they none of these none of these things fit them. None of these none of these prophecies in the scriptures fit them. So let's get this one. I, I I saw I read this one last night. This one was a lovely scripture. Let's go here. Number seventeen and two. Numbers chapter seventeen verse two. Speak unto the children of Israel, and take of every one of them a rod according to the houses of their fathers, not their mothers, to the houses of their fathers. Of all their princes according to the house of their fathers twelve rods write thou every man's name upon his rod and thou shalt write Aaron's name upon the rod for Levite for one rod shall be for the head of the house of their fathers see see for the fathers man this is for Israel man this is for Israel this is for Israel Second Chronicles 11 and 16. Let's get that one. And after Second Chronicles 11 and 16. And after them, out of all the tribes of Israel, such as set their hearts to seek the Lord power of Israel, came to Jerusalem to sacrifice unto the Lord power of their fathers. See? Fathers, man. Fathers. Fathers. That determines what house you belong to, or what tribe you belong to, and, and it determines how you, who, who your father had a, had children with, or put put his seed in. That's going to determine how you look. So it's not a white or black thing. It's not a, a, a color thing. It's not a, it's not a color thing, man. It's not a color thing. It goes by who. Your father, your father's house goes back to. That determines are you an Israelite or not. So you got these low level, these low level um black only Israelites out here that they not spiritual, man. This thing's still spiritual, no matter what. Even though, yeah, you might ha have um frustration about what's going on. You might be angry about the curses we went through. You might be angry about the position that we are in. And here in Babylon the Great, but you still anger and violence and, and 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 that type of mentality is not what's in the scriptures, man. Not what the scriptures call for, man. Bringing out this knowledge, man. You're supposed to be bringing out this knowledge with a clean, pure heart. No violence in your heart. No carnality in your heart. This is how you're supposed to be bringing out this word, man. Let's get back to it. Thirty-seven. And let me stop that. Thirty-seven and twenty-one. Ezekiel thirty-seven and twenty-one. 
and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Power, Behold, I take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them from every side, bring them into their own land. See? So we scattered in all the heathens. So we gonna look like all of them, man. Let's get some stuff. Let's get let's get a couple of precepts on that. I love this one. This is one of my favorites to bring out. Let's get this one. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That was a big ass uh, hornet or whatever that was. <laughs> I could, I could, you can't hang out with me. This is the book of James, chapter one and one. James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. See? See? To the twelve tribes that are scattered abroad. Let's get, let's get it. Let's keep getting it. Deuteronomy 30. Three. Deuteronomy 30 and 3 reads. Ah, let's start at 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee. The blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord power, thy power hath driven thee. Whether the Lord thy power hath driven thee. See? So we was driven into all nations, man. And shall and shall return unto the Lord thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy power have scattered thee. See, we scattered in all nations, man. We going to look like everybody, man. I don't see how it's so hard for a lot of these heads to get that, man. Isaiah 11 and 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people which shall be left from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Cush, from Elam, from Shinar, from Havmath, and from the islands of the sea. See? And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. See, that's why we say to the four corners of the earth, scattered abroad. Because we read in the scriptures, it says it <laughs> right here. And at 13, and the envy of Ephraim shall depart and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines towards the west. They shall spoil them of the east together. They shall lay their hands upon Edom and Moab. And the children of Ammon shall obey them. See? So this is what's coming. This is what's happening. This is what's happening right now, man. Let's, let's keep getting it. This is what's happening. This, this, is, this is what we're witnessing right now. Jeremiah 23 and 3. And I will, it reads, And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and increase. See, this is what this is what we waiting for, man. Reparations, Juneteenth, a uh, 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 little funky little holiday. That's not gonna do nothing, man. This, that's not that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Let's go 30 and 3. Jeremiah 30 and 3. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers and they shall possess it and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah see that Israel and Judah northern kingdom southern kingdom that's it man 
that's it. And hope that if you in another nation looking like somebody else, that your seed goes back to, to um, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If 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 your if your father if your fathers go back to Abraham Isaac and Jacob, no matter how you look, you're an Israelite. That don't mean you're of the elect. That don't mean that you're a remnant. But that means you're an Israelite. And if you come back to these laws, statutes, commandments, when you hear these words, then maybe you are of the elect. Maybe you are the remnant. It don't go by appearance, man. It don't go by appearance. Let's keep going. Amos 9. Let's get 14. Let's go 9. Let's go 9 and 9. Let's go Amos 9 and 9. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like as corn is sifted in a sieve yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth see so the most high is going to sift us out of the nations man let's go down to 14 and i will bring again the captivity of my people of israel and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof they shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, saith the Lord thy power. See? <laughs> Excuse me. See? Uh, once again, though, they don't fit, they don't fit these, uh, nothing in the scriptures fit these people, man. Them people over there in Jerusalem, man. It's like, excuse me. Let me get a drink. None of it fits them, man. None of, none, of, none of this stuff fits anybody but the Israelites. And you can't say that. You can't say that, oh, it only happened to the northern, southern kingdom. You black only Israelites. Northern kingdom went through it too. Northern kingdom was here. Look. It, the the early pictures of um um so called Native Americans they look just like Israelites man dark skin wearing the fringes carrying the the shofar pushed off of their land killed persecuted shipped out of here sold into slavery. So I don't see how y'all don't get that, man. I don't see how y'all don't get that, man. Uh, it, it's it's amazing how many people you see day in and day out that 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 don't seem to get this, man. So let's get back to it. Ezekiel thirty-seven. Let's get back to it. When we stop at twenty-one, let's see. Twenty-two. Ezekiel 37, 22, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two, <coughs> excuse me, into two kingdoms anymore at all. See? So this is what we waiting for, man. Because right now, you, you, you see, there's plenty of brothers out there talking about, oh, Southern, Northern Kingdom ain't Israelites. Only Southern, only Southern Kingdom. Only the only um so-called black people is Israelites, man. That shit is really annoying too, man. So let's get over here. Let's get over here to First Kings. Let's get over there in First Kings now. First Kings up here. Let's get it. First Kings eight. And I was reading this. I I, I was in on uh, First Kings because you know the eighth chapter. Because all we have to do is turn back, man. So let's start. I brought. I I got to the the first half of First Kings chapter eight the other day, but then reading Ezekiel thirty seven, 
this goes right along with that. You know, the bone, the dry bones, you know, coming back to life. You know, remembering what we have have to do. And then you go here and first um the eighth chapter of first Kings. Um King Solomon is pretty much breaking down what we have to do. Let's get down here to Let's start at 16. Since the day that I brought forth my people Israel out of Egypt, 1 Kings 8 and 16 reads, Since the day that I brought forth my people Israel out of Egypt, I chose no city out of all the tribes of Israel to build a house, that my name might be therein, but I chose David to be over my people Israel. So this is another reason why we know that the Most High didn't come back and set things straight according to the scriptures. Because where is King David at? Over all the people. Where is he at? He's, he's sure not over there in, in Israel right now. All of the violence, they need the United States to get them more money for weapons. and They got the Iron Dome and all of this. If, if the Most High puts you there and you dwelling in safety... What, what you need all of these weapons for? 17, 8 and 17. And it was in the heart of David, my father, to build the house of, of Salakia. 1 Kings 8 and 17. And it was in the heart of David, my father, to build a house for the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the power of Israel. Right? Let's keep getting it. I, 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 I'm not going to read all of it, but, you know, I, I, I want to get some of these in here. 20. And the Lord hath performed his word that he spake, and, and I am risen up in the room of David my father, and sit on the throne of Israel as the Lord promised, and have built a house for the name of the Lord power of Israel. Right? So now let's see. Go down. 23 and he said Lord power of Israel there is no power like thee in heaven above or on earth beneath who keepest covenant and mercy with thy servants that walk before thee with all their hearts see and like I said going back to you know the, when the, when the um, dry bones start to wake man you got to come back with your whole heart man your mind and your heart, man. You got to come back, man. You can't be trying to hold on to these worldly thoughts, man. You got to be in the scriptures 100%, man. Let's go on to 30. Where is that? Let's keep going. Let's get to 30. Psalm 8 and 30. 1 Kings 8 and 30. And hearken thou to supplication of thy servant and of thy people Israel when they shall pray towards this place and hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place and when thou heardest forgive see that's why we say that yo if if all of Israel remember who they are we'll be out of here man like Apostle Tahar said the other day if we come out here and we we um all come out here one day at the same time and we pray and call on the true names, it'll be over in that second, in that instance, man. That's all we will have to do. But that's not going to happen, man. That's not going to happen. 32. Then hear thou in heaven and do and judge thy servants, condemning the wicked to bring his way upon his head and justify the righteousness to give him according to his righteousness. When thy people Israel be smitten down before thy the enemy because they have sinned against thee and shall turn again to thee and confess thy name and pray and make supplication unto thee in this house. Then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy people Israel and bring them again unto the land which thou gavest unto their fathers. See? See? <laughs> just that simple, man. We just all got to uh, repent, 
call on the true names and pray at the same time. This will be over, man. This is the covenant. This is the promises, man. This is this is what our forefathers was told, man. 35. When heaven is shut up and there is no rain because they have sinned against thee, if they pray toward this place and confess thy name and turn from their sin when thou afflictest them, then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy servants and of thy people Israel, that thou teach them the good way wherein they should walk, and give rain upon thy land which thou hast given to thy people for an inheritance. See? Wow. 38. What prayer and supplication soever be made by any man or by all thy people Israel, which shall know every man the plague of his own heart and spread forth his hand towards this house. See, again. Then, then hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place and forgive and do and give to every man according to his ways whose heart thou knowest for thou even thou only knowest the hearts of all the children of men see the most high know everything man he know everything man he the one that put put the thoughts in your head he knows everything man that a man's going is not of his own, man. You know, who am I, I kill, I make alive. That, he, he does everything, man. That that they may fear thee all, all the days that they live in the land which thou gavest unto our fathers. Moreover, 41, moreover, concerning a stranger that is not of thy people Israel, but cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake, right? So they'll go, oh, that's it's talking about Israelites. We just read some that was scattered abroad. Let's get let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more on that, man. So I'm like, they make, they make, they try to twist it in all of this, man. In the scriptures, man, the scriptures, when you when you got the true understanding and you have teachers giving you the, the whole truth uncut, it's very easy to decipher the, the, the scriptures, man. It's all these heads is trying to make it and twist it and do all this new stuff with it. This is uh, Matthew 15 and 24. This is Yahweh Shah speaking red letter. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Understand that? <laughs> Understand that? Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that's when we talking about the strangers, man. We talk about the strangers and all of this and joining on and cleaving to. We talking about the strangers that scattered abroad that might didn't know they were Israelites. Or knew they was Israelites and was following crazy customs and this and this and this and that. Didn't come back full heartedly. Let's keep getting. It. Let's get. Let's get. Let's get a couple more. Isaiah fifty-six and three. Isaiah fifty-six and three reads: Neither let the son of the stranger that have joined himself to the Lord speak, saying. The Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the Enoch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus saith the Lord unto the Enoch's that keep my Sabbath and choose the thing that please me to take hold of my covenant. And we know who the covenant was. The covenant was with, was with the house of Israel. Psalms 140, um, 147, um, 19 and 20. Let's get that. Let's get that. One. It's the book of Psalms 147, 19. Let's start at 18. He sendeth out his word 
and melteth them. He causeth his wind to blow and the waters to flow. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. See? So the covenant, the statutes, the laws, statutes, commandments was only given to Jacob, man. Israel. Let's get back to it. What we, we was at? 56, Isaiah 56. I think we stopped at 3. Let's. Trying to see. Let's go to 8. Isaiah 56 and 8. The Lord power which gathereth the outcasts of Israel. See? The outcasts of Israel. Say him. Yet will I gather others to him besides those that are gathered unto him. <coughs> Excuse me. Salaki. All ye beasts of the field. Come to devour, yea, all ye beasts of the forest. Ten, his watchmen are blind. They are all, they are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving the slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way everyone for his gain from his quarter and this is what we have man we have the people that's looking for their own way they trying to do their own thing you know what i mean they they looking for you know they they looking to wear a crown now in captivity <laughs> 12 isaiah 56 and 12 come ye say they i will fetch wine and will fill will fill ourselves with strong drink and tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. See, yeah, they telling you all of these nice things that's going to take place. They not telling you nothing wicked that's going to happen. None of the troubles. You know what I mean? You got some camps out here not even telling you about Jake. Jacob's trouble don't exist. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I see a chick out here with a do-rag on crazy man i don't i don't know man i don't know this world is confusing man this society is confusing man matthew let's go matthew 8 and 10 this book of matthew 8 and 10 this is yahusha um speaking again when yahusha heard it he marveled and said to them that follow Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great a faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. See? So we coming from the we coming from the four corners of the earth, man. Looking like everybody, man. That's why you have brothers in, in these all of these other countries prophesizing out here um, on the highways and byways. Not looking like um, John Shaft, man. <laughs> not looking like um, Wesley Snipes, man. I don't see why, why y'all don't get that, but hey, what you gonna do, man? 12 Matthew 8 and 12 but the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into their outer darkness there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth see so if if, if you are Israelite and you doing wrong you gonna pay man you gonna pay you gonna pay you gonna pay Isaiah 60 and 5 Start at two. Isaiah 60 and one, start at one. Arise, shine, for the light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. 
For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thy eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together they come to thee thy son shall come from afar and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side then thou shalt see and flow together and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted until thee the forces of the gentiles shall come unto thee see so this is what we looking for man we looking for a new kingdom. We looking for the dry bones to rise up. We looking for that, that light to shine on us from Yah by Shem Shah. We looking for the other nations to realize that, to finally wake up and realize the fact that we are, we are Yashirala, Prince of the Power. That the Most High chose us to be a special name. Let's get that. This the book of Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, excuse me, nor choose you because ye were more in number than any other people for ye were the fewest of all people but because the lord loved you and because he he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers hath the lord brought you out with the mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bond men from the hand of pharaoh king of egypt see so this is what's going on man this, this is what happened. This is what's going on in the scriptures, man. This is why, this is why I don't see how anybody else will try to, try to fit anybody else into this, man. The 12 tribes, man. Northern, Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom, man. Not just Southern Kingdom, man. Nine, seven and nine. Know therefore that the, the Lord thy power, he is, he is the power, the faithful power, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. So his word ain't going nowhere, man. Eleven. Deuteronomy 7 11 thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments we just read who he gave them to which I command thee this day to do them wherefore it shall come to pass if ye hearken to, to these judgments and keep and do them that the Lord thy power shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he swore unto thy fathers see and the Most High is not a liar, man. So, yeah, let's keep getting it. I wrote this one. Let's get this one. Second Kings. Five and two. This is Second Kings, chapter five and two. And the Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid. And she waited on Neiman's wife. See, we, we all over, man. We all over, man. We, we spread it all over the place, man. And she said unto her mistress, Would the Most High, my Lord, were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him from his leprosy. That's why I wanted to get at this one. So, how can the Most High Son have leprosy? <laughs> numbers twelve, um, numbers twelve and ten. 
You know what I mean? The story of um, uh, Miriam being made leprous for for um for a week. Like how could how could the the um the 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 Most High sent his son down with leprosy? <laughs> and one went in and told his Lord, saying, "Thus and thus saith the maid that is in the land of Israel." And the king of Syria said, "Go to go and." And I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed and took with him ten talents of silver, six thousand pieces of gold, ten changes of remnant. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, Now, when this letter is come unto thee, behold, I have therewith sent Naaman, my servant, to thee, that thou mayest recover him from his leprosy. See? So, so how is how is how is Sedre Borgia, or how how is anyone that has leprosy of the Most High, man? Most High is not the author of confusion, man. So yeah, I wanted to bring that. I saw that one. I was like, wow, this right here this is another scripture talking, pointing out leprosy and how they trying to heal leprosy, man. So I'm sorry, man. If you if you are Edomite, man, it's Ain't nothing in, in, in here for you that's going to be nice in the end, man. Nothing in here going to be nice for you in the end, man. You could try to go around it all you want to, man. It, it, you could do whatever you want. It's no way around these things, man. Did it again. It's first king. First king. So you got you got people like vocab out here trying hard as hell. I ever seen a, a, a brother these and these guys they all trying to save Esau. They all try to save Esau, man. It's really amazing to see. They all trying to save Esau. Let's go. Let's go back to um, First Kings eight. First Kings eight. Let's go 37. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land, whether they will ca carry captives and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them, carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and we done perversely. We have committed wickedness and so return unto thee with all thy heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies which led them away captive and pray unto thee toward their land which thou gavest unto their fathers the city which thou hast chosen and the house which I have built for thy name see so we got to repent man we got to turn back to the names man honesty man what we did man we gotta we gotta turn back man then 49 then then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven thy dwelling place and maintain their cause and forgive thy people this is like the third time in here the third time in first kings chapter 8 that's why i want to bring this one out man 50 8 and 50 and forgive thy people that have sinned against thee and all their transgressions wherein they have transgressed against thee and give them compassion before them who carry them captive that they may have compassion on them for they be thy people thine inheritance which thou broughtest forth out of Egypt from the midst of the furnace of the iron see couple more man then we're gonna get out of here i got let's go first peter two and nine couple more yeah it's a nice day though man so i wanted to come out man I, i've been wanting to come to the park and do a sit down lesson second peter two first peter two and nine but ye are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who have caught you out of darkness into this marvelous light. The water y'all by Shem Yahweh Shah. 
Double honors to the apostles and the men at Great Millstone. See, going back to Ezekiel um, 37, the dry bones, man. Life is being, flesh is being put back on these bones, man. We standing up, a great army, man. And not to march through the streets, neither, man. To preach this word, man. <coughs> 10, 2 Peter 2 and 10, excuse me, Salaki. Which in times past were not a people, but are now the people of the Most High, which have attained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. So like it, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. See? Yep. Let's get a couple more, man. Let's get, let's get, let's get this one. This was another one of my, my faves I ain't bring out in a minute. Exodus 19. Let's go at four. Let's, yeah, let's start at four. Exodus 19 and four. Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. See, this is this is what we this is what we telling you guys, man. This is what we out here prophesizing. We telling you about the past. We tying the past into now. We tying the, we tying the scriptures into now. The past, now, present, and future. We giving you all of it, man. Out the scriptures. Couple more than we out. Couple more. Couple more. Deuteronomy 9 and 29. Deuteronomy 9 and 29. Yet they are thy people and thine inheritance, which thou broughtest out by the mighty power and by the stretch thou arm. See, we are the peoples, man. We, we, we are the ones that's promised the inheritance, man. Covenant was made with us, man. Law, statutes, and commandments were showed to us, man. 14 and 2. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. See? You can't make this stuff up, man. You can't make this stuff up, man. You can't make it up, man. You can't make it up. You could try to twist it up. It ain't going to work, though. It's not going to work. Jeremiah 10 and 16. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. See? So yeah, man, it's it's nowhere around these scriptures. They trying hard as heck. They trying to pull all types of tricks out they out they rabbits out they hats. But this this just not the case, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 9. For the Lord portion is his people, Jacob, is the lot of his inheritance. See? <laughs> Deuteronomy 32 and 9. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Lot is pretty much your position. Your, you, you know your, your, your lot, your, your position, your, your, your calling, your category. Category might be, your, you know, that's your position. That's your lot. Our lot is the inheritance, man. 
got three more. Got three more, man. I wanted to get, yeah, I was, I was, I had this, this, um, lesson on my mind, so I wanted to come out, you know what I mean, and I was like, ah, right, let's change it up, let's go out, get out there in the, in the, um, get outside, sitting under a little shade tree. This Ephesians 1 and 18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints in the saints who is the saints and you see the riches the glory the inheritance who is the saints psalms 148 and 14 He also exalt the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Let's get another one on that. It's 50 and 7, Psalms 50 and 7. Let us start. Let's start at um, 4. Psalms 50 and 4. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare this righteousness, for the Lord is judged himself, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel. And I will testify against thee. I am the Lord, even thy power. See? So the saints is Israel, man. The inheritance is for Israel. The, 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 the um, the covenant, the, the covenants, the, the, the laws, all of that was given to Israel. Nobody, no other nations, man. So, yeah, man, we got to turn back. We got to turn back with the true heart. We got to make supplication. And we'll be up out of here, man. But we know that's not going to happen because Zechariah 13 and 8, we know some people going to be destroyed, man. That's just they lot, man. That's what their lot called for, man. So, yeah, so I hope this one wasn't too long. You know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, the spirit, how they say when the spirit get on you, I just, you know, I wanted to come out. I, I wanted to get this lesson <laughs> out of my head. <laughs> So with that one, we're going to say all praises to the Most High Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. You know, a, a sincere, a sincere, um... Um, greetings, salutations. Keep pushing this word, man. Keep pushing this word, man. Cause you could, you could definitely tell the vibration is changing, man. To the remnant out there, men, women, children, remain spiritual. Kwam Yashira, Kwam Yashira, and abide Papa. But rock a thumb, family. Shalom.